Okay, so we're in all the weather spoons, which obviously I'm not from the UK and I've never been there, so the the map theme doesn't mean much to me. I know that it's a chain of pubs, but obviously I've never been there and I don't have any connection to them. However, I have played this a couple times. Uh, not I wasn't recording though, and I've realized that the locations are all in the center of cities or towns or neighborhoods of bigger cities in the UK. Um, so it's pretty much like an urban world map for the UK. So that's pretty much how I'm going to play it. I'm not really going to focus on the, the theme of the map. I'm just going to be trying to figure out what city I'm in or figure out where I am um, as if it's just a normal GeoGuessr game. That's generally how I play these theme maps, though. I don't really like use the thing that I started near uh, most of the time. I generally go like look for signs, like road signs and stuff. Anyway, uh, it is a challenge, by the way, so... That will be in the description, assuming I didn't lose it or something, but we're in a, a place here that looks relatively small, I would say. Unless if it's just like a neighborhood of London or something, but uh, if it is, I think it's quite a ways out of the center. Um, I'm actually not really sure what the more kind of suburban areas of the other cities look like, like Manchester, for example. Oh, actually, we are near London, so I think Humber Bridge... Isn't that over, uh, wait. Oh no, Boston's up here though, so. I thought Humber Bridge crossed over here, but maybe not. Uh, so A16 uh, goes to Boston. Maybe this is Humber Bridge here. Okay, that's Humber Bridge. Uh, so it's from Hull to this thing. Oh, it, actually it's over the Humber River, okay. So I guess we're probably in Hull. Uh, so A16, we're not on any of these though, and then M180, oh, actually I think we're here. Oh, it's actually A15 to Humber Bridge. Uh, Lincoln is on A43. Where's Lincoln? There. Oh. No, A46, sorry, to... And then Boston is... Okay, I guess we're in Grims... No, it says Grimsby on A180. Maybe we're just here then. Or it could be something like this. Um, yeah, let's see. Isaac's Hill Roundabout. So what are the directions here? Actually, that's more helpful. Um... It's more west. It doesn't necessarily mean that those roads go west, I guess. Let's get to the roundabout just to see where the where it says that we started from. Town center. Uh, Meridian Lakeside Promenade. So we're probably on a, a coast there. I don't think we're in Grimsby though. But we got uh, 1098. I'm not really sure what the, the scheme is for those things. But, um, I don't think we're down here. I already forgot what the highways, like which highways it said, but since... No, oh, actually it could be down here. Well, there's the weather spoon there, but I don't think that that's, that's not the right one, but, um... For some reason in the UK I have trouble with the directions. I guess it's just because I'm used to gridded roads for the most part. Um, anyway. So, Grimsby on 180. But it says north. Unless if we're just here. Oh, I think we're just here. Yeah, there we go. Um, so, I forgot what it was called. The Colosseum, so we're there. Okay, what was this place called? That took too long, didn't it? So, Cleethorpes, which is like right beside Grimsby. Okay. Um, based on that, there's like that palm tree type of thing here. Maybe we're in the south. Like near uh, Brighton or something. New Quay. 
Is that a place? I know there's a, I think there's a Norquay or Torquay. No, Newquay, there we go. So we are kind of in the north. I believe this is called Cornwall, right? This area. So should I just look for this place or should I? Yeah, it's right here. The Tawan Blah. I don't know what that means. It doesn't sound like it's in English, uh, but we're there anyway. So that was quick. So that kind of makes up for the first round taking so damn long. Um, okay. Uh, last time I played this, again, it was off camera, but I was in Northern Ireland. Uh, so that'd be kind of interesting if I get something like non-England. Um, what should I do here? I think I'm just going to look for some road signs again. That's what kind of helped me last time. I did get confused by them, but it, it really narrowed it down. Um, okay. Looks like this would this road looks pretty big. Um, maybe this will lead to a highway at some point, if it's not a highway itself. Like a numbered highway, I mean. Yeah, it looks like we got a sign here and a motorway. So, Hortsmouth. Um, A27. Portsmouth is down here, right? Yeah, so A27. I don't understand what this means. Like, I know the parentheses mean that that road leads to these roads, but I'm not sure why the M is in a parentheses too. And I guess it leads to A3, which leads to M, or what? Which leads to M3? I don't know. But M3 is way over here. Um, so Portsmouth is off there on 27 and 275. Um, and then, where's A27? So I think we're on A27 anyway, so I think we might be in this place here. Um, Portsbridge roundabout, wait, is there a place called Port Portsbridge or is that... I don't know. Unless if we're just in this area, perhaps. Um, I think, let's just look at the junction. Is it like a, a diamond interchange, or, or what is it here? Actually, wait, I don't know, some big roundabout thing, but actually we just have a sign here. Let's just use that. Halls Grove, Lakeside Harbor. I think this is too far, otherwise one of these places would show up on the map, but... Um, M27, so actually I think we're over here. Okay, so M27 was that thing that we were on. Um, was it this big roundabout thing? I don't really remember. Oh, actually, did I not see that earlier, or did I just ignore it? Waterlooville and Kosham. So let's just look for that stuff. Um, it's to the north somewhere. There's Waterlooville. I don't know where the second place is. Should I bother looking for it? I'm going to say no, um, because I think we might be here. I don't even remember what it was called. Was it called the... No, it's called the First Post. Maybe I shouldn't have gone back to the start then, because that's not the right one there. Um, I don't think they all say Weatherspoon on the, the labor, label, right, on the map? I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, I really shouldn't have gone back to the start there, because now I don't know where the hell I am. Well, let's use something else. we got a hill up there. Maybe I can just find enough things that say the same place name and then figure out what city this is. Another thing that makes um, the UK a bit harder for me than North America is that there's so many different towns in the UK, like in a, in a small area. Oh, this is where I went earlier. Whereas North America, there's a bit of distance between towns, generally. Okay, so that place there... Uh, Kosham is I think just the train station it's oh never mind it's right here um, so I think we're in this place actually somehow I messed that up um, the first post there we go so that one was I think even longer than the first round yeah by almost 
a minute. Okay. Camden. I've, I haven't heard of Camden, so I assume it's part of a bigger city because, like, this place is obviously a large city. I'm going to just say it's London. I'm pretty sure it's London. I don't know if that those red double-decker buses that, like, those are, like, stereotypical British buses, but I don't think that they... I don't know if they're in places other than London. Um, yeah, so this is going to be tough unless if uh, if there's something recognizable close by. But London is very hard for me because there's a lot of like a lot of different neighborhoods and stuff, and like they don't have numbered streets or anything like a pattern really. Well, they don't really even have a grid. There's Museum of London. I wonder if I could just find that, because I assume that's probably close to here somewhere. Um, because look, it's... there we go. Museum of London. So I don't remember how we got there, but we are on uh, Greville or Greville Street and... something D-O-N, but it's blocked out by the... Um, the trees there. Maybe this one. There we go. Uh, okay, so where did I start exactly? Like on the sidewalk actually, but we're in here. There we go. That one was easier than I thought, despite it being in London. And this one I think might be easy. We got uh, Manchester on the sign uh, uh, along A6 or A6 goes to M60 so where's M60 actually I've heard of Bolton too but I don't remember where it is okay it's there uh, M60 uh, so so A6 goes to M60 right so where's the A6 then Wait, I'm not sure exactly how this works. So it's M60, or is M60 is just like a loop thing around Manchester? Oh, I see. That's going to make it a bit harder, isn't it? Oh, I guess we're on this side though, because of Bolton. So, five, uh, five, seventy-five, and then Salford is. I don't know where, but I think we're probably up in this area somewhere. I don't see 575 yet, but I see 576. Five sixty. Five seventy five, there we go. And I think we're probably in here. Let's see. Bull's Head Hotel. Actually, I don't know which... Where was that roundabout? I don't see any roundabouts around here. Okay. Actually, I'm, I think I'm going to need a bit more clues here. Because I'm confused again with, with these signs. So, actually, no, it wasn't a roundabout. So... Uh, north to Bolton, east to uh, M60. Along A6. Oh, yeah, shit, I forgot to look for A6. Or I, I was at first, and then I was looking for other stuff. Because um, the sixes are over here. Oh, here's A6, so we're... Hmm... So A6 kind of ends. Oh, there we go. Oh, I thought A6 would be a bigger one. But apparently not. So A6 goes up to that M60 here. And then A570. Maybe A575 is just some small thing too. I thought the A ones are all bigger, but apparently not. Sorry about all the background noise. That's kind of annoying, but... Not much I can do about that, unfortunately, I don't think, because I don't know how to do the editing to block it out. But anyway, we're, we must be here. There we go. Bulls Head Hotel. So, how long did that take? Because some of the rounds I felt like were really good and others were bad. 
13 minutes, 50 seconds. That's, I don't know, I guess it's okay. I'm sure obviously some people could do it quicker if you're more familiar with the UK. Um, first round, I actually got zero meters, which I, I didn't think about at first, but that is actually pretty hard to get that, that close. Um, so round two is quick. Let's review these very quickly. Oh, that was, oh yeah, round one was the one near the Humber Bridge. Round two was that one, Nuque was on the sign, so it was pretty easy, and the town isn't that big, so it was easy to find the place. Uh, what else was quick? London, surprisingly. I thought London would be harder, but because um, we were near that museum. So yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the challenge. Uh, I assume some people will beat me in terms of time, but obviously you can't beat me with the score. You could time me, I guess, but uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I might do this again because I do think there are, let's see how many locations, uh, eight 869 so yeah there's enough locations to replay this quite a few times and i do like playing it as a substitute for urban world kind of when i want to have it exclusively uk anyway thanks for watching bye